Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you a new better XP farm that doesn't actually give you more XP than the current XP farm but I'll explain a little bit later and just to let you know I've been testing everything possible for terms of XP and I've used all my characters to get to level 40 to kind of test which ones are the fastest, best, more efficient etc etc. Now the two that I'm talking about today one is the original and the first one, obviously the known one, is the Kingston Special Operation. And the other one I'll show you just a little bit later. But I wanted to make this as fair as possible. So I went in and found two descendants that were completely untouched, level one. One of them was Kyle and the other one was Blair. Now the only difference between these two XP farms is the fact that the second one is on hard mode while the first one can be done on normal. But you get a lot more with the second one i wanted the circumstances to be exactly the same so what i did was after getting the correct characters that have been completely untouched i made sure that there was no xp boost at all on my characters i waited for it to run out and i also wanted to make sure that the farms that i was doing i was taking part in i wasn't afk because if there was any kind of like xp per kill that you make being slightly higher than any xp kill that someone else's make i wanted to make sure it was absolutely as fair as possible so I did that then for each farm i played it for exactly one hour and when it hit the one hour mark or like one hour and like five seconds depending on where i was in that farm then i would look at what the level was at the end after starting at level one at the start so same amount of time same circumstances same parameters and it's actually quite surprising to be fair i was actually quite shocked i also played it as naturally as possible so for instance in the second farm Basically, if there was other people that turned up in the public sphere and helped me, I had to just accept it because that's what would happen if you were doing it normally anyway. And in the usual farm, I only ever aborted when everyone else aborted. So I played to like level 10 or level 14 or whatever. But um, weirdly enough, everyone aborted at level 7. So I included the loading times within that hour as well because that would be a natural hour of you playing. Right, let's first very quickly talk about the original farm now this has become quite an irritating way to farm xp for characters because most people are just not going to play they're going to stay afk they're going to go hide somewhere in the map so you can't find them and then you're left down to like two or three people and yeah you only need three people to do it but it's just the frustration of oh now i'm not only trying to level up my characters but now i'm freely leveling up other people's characters as well and they're not doing anything to help then people leave because someone's afk and then you're down to two people so it just becomes like a really really frustrating annoying way to level up your characters in my opinion it might be fine for some people People and some people might like to sit, AF sit afk but just know that you're causing other people stress i don't like this way of leveling up at all that's why i wanted to find another one because i was so annoyed of having to like hold down both the right hand side areas on my own because it was two afk people like it's just it's just unfortunate that the game slipped into that already but i also can't blame people either because it in general it's just a boring monotonous farm like there's nothing fun to it it's just literally sitting there firing one bullet at an enemy with the thunder cage and having the thunder gauge kill everything at once however i started on kyle at level one and i played for exactly an hour and i ended up and i can't even make this up bang bang on level 26 in the last dying seconds of the one hour period i hit level 26 so 26 levels in one hour with no xp buff with no extra parameters just playing it as naturally as i could you know 26 levels there's 40 altogether so you know in terms of like the amount of xp it takes you to level up i'd say it's probably about halfway to level 40 because obviously you need more xp the higher you get up and i think if you was to do the same in an hour with an xp boost you could probably get to 30 to 32 somewhere in that vicinity that's just a guess an estimate because i have done a lot of character leveling up but like i said it will have slightly more xp than the one we're about to talk about it is on normal so if you wanted to level up a new character that you've unlocked on normal definitely the special operations in kingston is the way to go however if you are on hard mode and you're now starting to unlock other characters and maybe buying some characters and you want to level them up quickly i highly suggest that you take the hard mode version of this mission because not only will you get a very similar amount of xp you will get you will get hundreds of thousands of kaipa millions of gold and you know just all around just more stuff for you to dismantle so you get mm, 
And on top of that, materials from dismantling reactors and weapons and components and stuff. So definitely a more preferable, different, more fun and involved farm where you get a similar amount of XP. So... It's their island. So I'm going to take you there right now. So if we go to Sterile Land and we go down to Rockfall, this is one of the things that, you know, a lot of people have seen. I've actually made a video about how good this is for gold before. This is a known farm. But on hard, I don't think anyone's really tested truly how much XP you can get from this farm as well on top of everything else. I find it to be more fun and involved, as I said, more rewards with a similar amount of xp so i'm going to run it once just very quickly let me put back on my thunder cage because that is more fun to use in this farm and it is a very very fast mission you start the mission you're just going to run up here kill a few enemies which isn't going to take long you go this way kill all the spawning enemies then there'll be more here sometimes some liz tails come from over there as well so you can get an extra few kills let me go over here and there should be enemies spawning. I hate it when it's a shield. It's like, just let me, just let me shoot you. Then straight over here. So you're going basically in one big loop. Kill these. Back here. Kill you. Kill all these guys. And then the bus will spawn. And the bus is, and I'm just like literally just hip firing here. I'm not even trying. Kill the bus. Boom. And that is the full complete farm. Then, if no one is restarting the mission, like this guy over here is, um, you have to run down and obviously start it up. But what you'll find is, is a lot of people will just stand here doing nothing, and that's fine. Just restarting it every single time you have finished it. They'll hear the mission complete, they'll restart it, and then basically, if you're up here farming, all you have to do is shoot an enemy. Oh, there's the Liz Tiles I was talking about. Shoot an enemy and then you will join the fight. Now, usually there's not two or three down there pressing the restart button. There's usually only one. So a lot of the times you're not going to be alone up here. You got you are just going to be absolutely going through this mission so fast, especially if you've got a really kitted up bunny on your team, which has happened many times for me because often when there's a bunny, and I'm not even joking, you have to run down and join the mission down there because they'll kill everything so quick. You can't get a hit on anything, which means you can't join to get the XP. It's actually kind of funny how ridiculously powerful our bunny can be. And this is the farm. You know, that took a little bit longer, but for the most part, you could probably get this done in about 20 seconds or less. The whole thing and then restart it. And then I'm assuming someone just restarted it again. Yeah, they did. So if you want to be the person who stands there, just constantly you know restarting it you can nobody's going to be upset with you because it makes the farm easier for everyone it saves people having to go back i've never once been told oh you afk blah 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 blah, blah. You, you're being reported people want someone there to do that because it just makes things easier and faster whereas in the other one if you see afk people get really mad and leave or report you and stuff so it's just for me this is just a better farm i'm just not in it right now i'm just trying to talk and record so very quickly, just before the XP, when it came to materials, I got, you know, when you're dismantling the reactors, I now, I don't even know how much I got during this hour, but I have 115,000 quantum crystals and 282,000 nano compounds. So you get a lot of materials from this, which helps with researching specific items that you need for upgrading weapons, etc., etc. For Kuiper, in total, with dismantling duplicate mods, I had 225,000 Kuiper shards. Now that is a little bit more than I usually get from this farm. I just must have got very lucky. And for gold, I got just under 4 million gold. So you can see that this farm, just for that, is definitely worth it. Now, when it comes to the XP, I started with Blair on level 1. And if you remember, Kyle went from level 1 and just about hit level 26. For Blair, starting on level 1, I just about hit level 25. So for one one bar of xp less you also then on top of that get millions of gold 
hundreds of thousands of Kuiper shards, ridiculous amounts of materials. So even though it doesn't give you as much XP, it definitely is the better farm because you're leveling up these characters to use and grow and make stronger. And you're going to need Kuiper shards and gold and everything else that comes with farming something like this. Now, like I said, this is on hard mode, so it's a little bit different. You know, if you're on normal, like I said, you use the special operations in Kingston. I think there are more people now getting to hard mode. And if you want to need to, even if you just want the Kuiper shards and gold, this is a, the best farm. But for XP as well, definitely worth going this route if you can, because it's only one less level XP. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.